Loop Cloud's editor comes complete with eight tracks, which can be used independently to try things out or together to combine different sounds, whether creating beats, grooves or melodies, or sketching out the different sections of a track. I'm going to demonstrate the multi-track features by creating a beat, with each of the drums on its own track. So I'll start with a kick, loop, and now I'll move on to a hat. So I'll start a new search for hi-hat, loops, but now instead of clicking on a sample to replace the kick, I'll undo that and then choose track 2 at the bottom, which is currently empty, and then select a hat loop to go in there. So now the samples sound together, and I can mute either one using their corresponding mute switches to turn them independently on and off. For the snare now, I'll go for a one shot. So I'll add that to track 3, and then I'll use the pattern menu to sequence it into one of the house snare patterns. Now as well as the global loop cloud volume, so all tracks together, being controlled by the main volume dial, I can adjust the volume of individual tracks using their respective sliders, so I can bring the snare track down a bit. Selecting track 4, I could go for percussion or maybe a top loop. This one's nice, although it does have a hat sound in it, like the sample in track 2. I can use the solo button at the end to listen to it on its own. Now I could just chop out the hats if I wanted to get rid of them, but undoing that, I'm going to return to track 2 with the hat in, and then go back to my hi-hat loop search and choose something else from the results. And now let's add a sub loop to track 5. Nice. When working in multi track mode like this, you can even add effects to each sample independently, with every track having its own effects chain. So I can go back to my snare now and add a delay or reverb to it. The awesome thing about working in this way is that you can always come in and switch up a sample at any point, so there's less need to commit and you can just keep trying things out until you're happy everything's working together. Plus you can save the whole session here using the edit menu. So you can come up with an idea for later or something to send to someone else and you can always return to your sketches at a later point. If however you were ready to export sounds into the door, then you can use the export button in its various modes to do so. The default current mix mode will export out a single loop, just as you're hearing it. So all tracks sounding together, and this will take into account any mutes or solos, so you can easily export different combinations or tracks on their own in this mode. Another option though is to set the button to processed separate tracks mode where you can then export all tracks as their own loops, if you want more options for mixing sounds in the door.
So the multi-track capabilities of LoopCloud really do turn it into a powerful platform that's not just about finding the right samples, but also sequencing and layering them up together to create comprehensive musical ideas. See you next time. Thank you.